Welcome back. Republicans are fanning the flames of a supposed ban on gas stoves. A member of the Consumer Product Safety Commission suggested such a ban after a study showed nearly 13% of childhood asthma cases were attributable to gas stoves. A Texas Republican legislate, legislator tweeted that the White House can pry his gas stove from his cold, dead hands. Potential GOP presidential candidate Nikki Haley said, Liberals came for our light bulbs and our cars. Now they're coming for our stoves. President Biden, however, does not support the idea. Gene, is this really much ado about nothing? Well, I, progressive can continue to float these crazy ideas, you know, where we can't eat meat anymore. We need to get rid of cows because they produce too much gas and it ruins. The, they're always coming up with these crazy ideas. And so Republicans are fed up with it. And as long as they continue to float these things, I mean, AOC is out there on TikTok talking about taking away our stoves, then we're going to continue to respond with how ridiculous these ideas are. What is the official stove-hating Democrat reason? <laughs> I have a gas stove. And here's the other thing. Do you know how to use it? It was rugged. Yes, I used it last <laughs> night. And it's, it, this is being recommended by some third-party group, and now it's being labeled to the, you know, the Democratic Party. Let's remember, these same people 10 years ago were telling us, oh, they're going to take away my lawnmower. It's a bunch of nonsense. It's a sideshow to distract you from the fact that, really, we need to be finding a way to make our cars have less emissions so that we do less harm to the earth. Nobody's coming for your stove. This is a ridiculous made up story that the Republicans continue to push. These are not serious individuals. They don't want to address problems. I guess they want us all to have a gun. So when we do take the stoves away, we can just shoot them up. Well, as Illinois lawmakers take on gun violence, Missouri lawmakers update the rules for what women are allowed to wear at the state capitol. The newly updated rules call for women to keep their shoulders covered. The dress code is unchanged for men. They must wear a coat, tie, dress pants, and shoes. In our quote of the week, lawmakers tighten up the language for women. The newly adopted rules of the General Assembly now state that women can wear business attire, including jackets worn with dresses, skirts, or slacks, and dress shoes or boots. Michael, Republican State Rep Ann Kelly of Southwest Missouri. Yeah, she a was woman, one of the... She Push for this. Yeah, and she was one of the leaders saying that we shouldn't be wearing masks. So now she wants us to wear other clothing. But shouldn't but, there be a dress code? Sure. And is this what we would look? These folks work for about 90 days. When you add it all up down in Jefferson City, they do about 90 days of work. They spent two days on this? What is this, the hands made tale? What are we trying to regulate what kids wear to high school? These are our legislators. I mean, this is what they're wasting their time on. Thank God the roads are in such great shape. Thank God we don't have a crime problem for them to focus on. What is with this Republican Party? They are not serious. They don't want to attack real issues. They want to limit the rights of women. Is this silly, sexist, both, neither? It's much ado about nothing. So every time there's a new speaker, they go over the rules of the house, they address the dress code. They didn't actually change anything. Simply state, if the men have to wear a suit and tie, they want the women to have a jacket as well. Trust me, it is way too cold in that house chamber for anybody to go without a jacket or a sweater. You will freeze. But if you want to go sleeveless, you can't. You cannot go sleeveless, apparently. Although I've seen some crazy things in there. I saw we had a state rep come dressed as Superman one time. Well, I think if the Republican leadership really ought to impose this stuff on interns, because that's who they seem to have the most trouble uh, keeping their eyes off. Wasn't it last session they were arguing about the legislator wearing overalls? Yeah. I mean, that was in the Senate. These are not serious individuals. <laughs> Final thoughts are next. First, this is one cardinal way in Ballpark Village from the Clement Auto Group Drone Fox. You can almost smell it. Baseball, spring training, it's coming.